tackle pump here. And it's just as simple. There's no packing in there. That's just a rod. It goes back and forth yeah. into a chamber, and there's packing here to seal it. And and then there's just two valves, you know, simple valves here. So, but back here there's a what they call a pen berthy injector, and this is run by steam. And the steam will come in here, and this is your fresh water here. Oh. In here there's some venturis and stuff. Well, that all mixes together. Oh, okay. Overcomes your pressure to put pressure back into your boiler. It's like your solvent sprayer on the air hose in the shop. Yeah. Same thing. Mm. Just a venturi. Yeah. So that's what. what now we're not doing out. this properly because your water should be heated before it goes into there. But you know, yeah, it's better. It. Yeah. Better to get water in it. When we weren't putting all. That's why you're mixing it to keep it warm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, now so see your water. Out of your, bucket. You, your water here, Steve, will go through a preheater. <clears throat> the exhaust from your motor goes through here, oh, and there's some coils in there, and it, it heats your water a little bit to get back into there. And normally you use your pump or your injector to pull out of your water like that. Yeah. Preheat your water. They pump it down. I don't know what's going on to this apparatus. Ceiling here, and it's just not creating suction. Right. Uh, I didn't have any of that rope packing with me, so I put a little blue towel in there. Oh, wait. <laughs> well, well, I got it my work. It should, it should <laughs> siphon, but even with the water pressure up above, yeah. it wouldn't go in. There's and I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Well, you have to overcome any pressure you have here now, sure. you know, say what we've got. We've got maybe 30 pounds of steam pressure. Well, if you had 35 pounds of water pressure, it should. Yeah, I would think so. And we haven't tried it for a while. Maybe, maybe we could try it. I'd rather have it go through there than the way we're doing it. You want to try it again? Just for the hell of it? It should suck out of the bucket. Well, we could try it, but we got to start our move. Okay, that should. I, I don't know if we're primed or not. Here, so I, um, we can try it once, see if it'll suck out of the bucket. And I need to tighten that down here. When this is working, you can definitely hear these valves go click, click, click. And I can't hear those valves go click, click, click anymore. Well, no, you can't hear the drum major. Yeah, see, this is just a simple, okay, the rod goes that way and then creates a suction. Right. It's just, yeah, it's like you a check valve. Yeah. yeah. I looked at that when I restored this, and I thought, huh, and I asked an old guy, he said, yep, that rod just in there had no packing whatsoever. Huh. It's just cubic inches, you know. You have more cubic inches when the rod comes out, right. so it, it, it yeah. sucks it in. And then when the rod goes that way, it's less cubic inches and pushes right. your water. And if it was sucking and that was leaking, though, or if that packing was leaking, yeah, see, this is what, if you haven't got this packing tight, yeah. then then your air, you know, it'll just yeah. go back and forth. Right. They won't create it. Yeah. It's got a piston on yeah. it with a ring, though. It's been a while. Okay, our doors open. They need to be open.
the woods now. You ready?